Hi, Al. You remember before we were talking about the three different ways that heat can be transferred? One was conducting, the other was convection, and the last was radiation or radiating heat. Well, we talked before about conducting heat. I kind of burnt my finger on a paper clip that time. I wanted to talk to you about convection. I got a little demonstration I want to show you. But convection makes use of the fact that things that are cold are heavy, things that are warm are light. And if things are warm, they'll move to the top. When things are cold, they'll move to the bottom. Now, what I have here is a glass that has water in it. It's room temperature water. And there's some food coloring at the bottom that's very cold. Now, this little hot plate next to it is warm. And I'm going to set this glass on it. And let's see what happens. What I expect will happen is as the, the food coloring becomes warm, it's going to rise and move to the surface. Hey, look at that. There it goes. And that's because as it warms up, it becomes lighter. Now you see when it hits the surface, it cools off and it starts to come down. It kind of makes a cycle. Now if you look in your science book, when they talk about convection, they usually show like a circle where it goes high and then low again. This happens in a lot of different places. It happens in water. It happens in the oceans. It happens in the air. Um, it also happens inside the earth. And that's what I think they were showing you in your textbook. But look how when the, the, the blue dye got warm, it went up, it cooled off, and went down. And now the whole thing is just swirling around, kind of like in a, in a circle. It goes to the top, then it goes back to the bottom, goes back to the top, goes back to the bottom. Well, that's what convection is. So it can happen with air. So if the, the air near, near the ground gets warm and the air up, up high is cool, the, the warm air will start to move up, the cool air comes down. It happens in oceans and it also happens inside the earth. So that's the second way that heat can be transferred from one place to another. We had conducting, now we've got convection where things kind of flow around and then the last one is radiance. So that's how conducting work works. I hope that helps. Take care.